What's the crack lads? Welcome back to Thursday's Roundup. We have got a brand new video for you. Patrick Vieira is back. We've also got a brand new pack. We've got a load of new packs and a load of stuff to get through. Patrick Vieira is obviously probably one of the most popular players in the game. A lot of people were asking for his booster to come back and here it is. It's a phenomenal card. We'll get into that later on. You guys have probably seen a load of footage and a load of gameplay of me already using Vieira, but we'll get into that again today. We'll give an updated build and we'll talk a little bit more about other stuff in terms of builds now because I think that we're going to have to retrain a lot of players. We'll get into that in a second, but Dennis Burkamp is also here. There's a load of new cards as that is, you know, that is always a necessity. I mean, this is definitely not online with Burkham doing those flicks and tricks because he would probably be hounded by four players if it was in a Dream Team match. But listen, it's all about Gilberto Silva and Vieira in this pack. Burkham is not, in my opinion, he's, he's not really that good in the game. But we'll get into a full review and training guide of them. But what else is coming on Thursday, boys? Right, we'll keep this short and sweet. We won't go too into much detail or go into too much detail with the rest of the player of the week cards and stuff like that you just have your nice little trailer here for the arsenal legends and that is from the 9th to the 16th but there's also other a lot of other stuff going on in this as well you also have the english league attacker still ongoing as well here login bonuses still ongoing 750 million downloads campaign is entering into its second week or third week i think at this stage you've got that going there as well and we also have this brand new campaign which is called the invincibles campaign arsenal fc the invincibles campaign so this is kind of the first time that they've actually leaned into one of their partner clubs which yeah let's see what happens in the future you also get your your eFootball league phase points we get our skill trainers for all of that we're going to get into all of that right so the one big thing lads i think that we all are hallelujah and about is that the free player progression is back the free resetting of the players is back so you can reset and retrain every single one of your players for free it's going to cost you nothing for the next two weeks so we've got a brand new reset for progression it's amazing that that's what you know we're getting excited about because i know pretty much everybody has made mistakes or has kind of changed how they've played since the last reset progression we'll get into that as well Our, there is the invincibles campaign claim your chance deals as login presence now and you're going to see here that you get just two in the 2003 2004 season arsenal won the league by going undefeated we will be holding a commemorative campaign in honor of the invincibles and their historic feat so when you go into this here it says that we're going to be getting our two freebies there uh, which we get and that is going to be on on till the 16th as well so the 16 seems to be a date um which is obviously going to be yeah it's just something to keep in mind i suppose as we go on but the rest of the stuff here that we're going to get so firstly we don't have any um update or any news on v3.5.1 yesterday we did a video and we said listen there might be v3.5.1 coming um but it looks like that they're just going to be holding that back off until the next big update which probably makes sense from a console point of view but has the gameplay changed today we're going to have to find that out we do have our campaign here these are the players that are going to be in the campaign so i'm going to show you everything here of all the new players and then we'll get into the events and stuff like that this player pack that you have here is going to be the invincible ones it's 100 150 box and you also have Burkham Vieira Gilberto Silva in there aligned with Pau Torres Jose Sa I mean Ruben Diaz it's not just Arsenal players a lot of people were asking me about that but it's not just Arsenal players yes you have all the Arsenal standard players here but there's a couple of Chelsea a couple of Manchester United there's a lot of different players in here and a lot of different cards it's pretty much a box of 150 lads as normal but the big draw is going to be Patrick Vieira you know he is probably one of the most yeah, he's probably the best card in the game, him and Roy card, I would say, in terms of just like dominating with the AI and dominating with the ball or without the ball. So we'll get into that review later on when we can reset his player progression. You've got two free spins of that just from your login. The Worldwide Player of the Week, you're talking about having Haaland there as well. This is an interesting Haaland card. His balance is still absolute pants. But we do have a different type of card here, which is a goal poacher, fighting spirit. He's got some nice skills and nice stats, as usual with Haaland. Haaland seems to have a little bit of a renaissance back with this. Obviously, he's, you know, from scoring four goals. This is the rest of the player of the week pack there as well. Thiago Silva's in there, Brahim Diaz, Luis Suarez, Minamino. It's a disappointing enough pack, to be honest with you. But it's, you know, Elliot is quite decent if you're a Liverpool fan. Um, but the three boosters are quite disappointing. I know Thiago Silva is quite nice with the boost, the manager boost. He's going to go pretty high. Um, but yeah, it's a, it is a pretty disappointing player of the week pack, in my opinion. Um, and then also we do have this Turkish selection here. 
This is the selection for the Turkish selection here. It's another seven days in that. Um, you've got Pepe, you've got uh, Buxa, you've got Torreira. You've got a lot of nice cards in there. But again, these are mostly kind of beginner cards, I would say, um, just for kind of starting off. The English League attackers is still ongoing. Mikey Owen, Dennis Law, and Okazaki. And then these cards here, we have got brand new nominating contracts. So this is still ongoing, the Bring the Energy, Bring the Noise campaign, right? And these are going to be finishing up in 27 days. So it is interesting how they're actually now bringing out different cards at different periods within a season. It's not just like, you know, a season refresh. And that seems to be quite different. We talked about it earlier in a stream a couple of weeks ago. But these are all the cards that you can sign for free with your nominating contract. You've got Chesney, you've got Okafor, you've also got Rudiger, who looks an absolute demon. Now, Rudiger is going to go 21 levels, but his speed, his tackling, his aggression is going to be really high with a good build of him. So we'll get into that later. and We'll probably sign him up and train him up and play with him in our live stream later. And then also you have Adama Traore as well. I used Traore at the very start of the game. He was fairly fast, but yeah, I mean, he looks interesting, man. He's got ball rolled straight off the rip, and he is a free player, uh, you know, and he is a four-star. So it's definitely going to be a card that I think a lot of people will use, but these are all free. You can play 15 matches in the match pass, and you can get a free one of these cards, right? You also have this J-League. And Super League, the Turkish Super League, you have these as nominating contracts as well. You don't need to train any of these cards. These are already maxed out. So you can just literally buy these cards and uh, the highest one is a four star. I've got loads of four stars, so I'll probably get a couple of these for the events and stuff. Also with the Super League, you've got that as well. And then speaking of getting a free nominating contract with the match pass, we have got a brand new match pass uh, right here. So I think the match pass at the moment, there's no new packs. Any, anyone that's looking in here, there's nothing new in here. And strangely enough as well, boys, we have got a brand new live update, but there's nothing in the shop, which is, yeah, I mean, I, I don't get it. Um, the eFootball point sale, or the, sorry, I've gone into the wrong thing here. Um, the eFootball point shop, right, there's nothing in this. And I'm surprised with that because obviously there's literally no players available at all, like, which is very unusual. That's the first time that that's happened. Nothing in strip either that's new. And then for the actual match pass itself here, you're going to be able to get um you're going to be able to get the match pass for half price even if you've already got the discount one before so there is a sale on the match pass i would say a lot of people aren't really getting the match pass um especially the the premium one so maybe they're just trying to reprice that at 500 um to get your diaby card or your saliba card i mean saliba looks pretty decent he's kind of like rudiger except that he's a build-up he's got the speed he's got the defense he's only got 20 levels but that is what you get if you play 50 matches on the free match pass you will be able to get a free five star card so that is kind of the allure i think of the match pass if you are going to be buying the premium one that you get extra five stars you know you get a couple of extra five stars and you get some coins back so essentially if you buy this for 250 coins, I think you're getting about 150 coins back. So you are going to be getting Saliba for 100 coins, which is a guaranteed Saliba card. So yeah, there is still that offer on that. It is 100 and or 50% off, so 250 for the value, 500 for the premium. And that's pretty much it, lads. The rest of the stuff that's on at the moment is going to be in the events, right? The free reset is obviously going to be the big one. We'll get into that in a second. But we do have team play fun back, which is co-op with European clubs, the Turkish clubs, and of course the English clubs, which is still ongoing. And then versus the AI, we've got the Spanish League legend. That's going to give you your training programs. You've got the European clubs. That's going to give you more training programs. And then of course the Turkish clubs is going to give you your worldwide player of the week. That's Haaland and the boys. But the rest of everything, man, is just, you know, rinse and repeat. There's nothing new here. With the eFootball League, we have got a brand new phase of the eFootball League. So I have dropped from Division 1 down to, to, to Division 4. And these are all the rewards that we're going to be getting here from getting to Division 1. I mean, once you get to Division 1, that's it. There's nothing else to play for apart from pushing rank. A lot of people don't bother pushing rank because it takes too long. And yeah, you know, not everyone has, you know, 40 hours a week to push rank, to be honest. So that's kind of a big issue at the moment with Divisions, that there's nothing real, really to play for. But yeah, I think the big one on this, lads, is definitely the free player reset. I've been trying to reset players for, you know, for a long time, especially with new managers that have come out. And they definitely needed this. This free player reset... As you can see there, this would ordinarily cost me 600,000, but now it's going to cost me nothing, and I can test out different builds of Maldini. I think a lot of the gameplay stuff that I've been seeing lately, I definitely feel I have to train some of my players in a different way, for more speed, for more reaction time, for more aggression, um, and I think I have a couple of builds that I'm definitely going to get into live streaming uh, when I'm live streaming later. So 
that is it for me, lads. We've got the free reset. That's probably the highlight of it with Patrick Vieira. I will be back live streaming later. Don't forget to check it out. We'll have the Player of the Week review up as well. I hope to see you in the stream later. We've got a lot to discuss. It's going to be a long stream today. We're also going to have a giveaway today in the stream. So I'll see you then. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you smash that like button. And I'll talk to you in a bit.